and welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and in today's video I we're doing some updates. <laughs> More updates. We're in the dining room area. Well I'm standing in my kitchen but my dining room area is like right in front of me. Um, it's like an Eden kitchen dining room slash kind of thing. Anyways we're working on this today. We I did film a few clips a few days ago. It was actually <laughs> the day of my son my eldest son's like Halloween school dance so please excuse my husband and my son in those clips because my husband had his mask on and he thought it was hilarious and whatnot. So um, we did do like a beadboard wainscoting. It's like not halfway up the wall, but it's like three quarters up the wall. Not three quarters. One quarter up the wall. <laughs> I'll show you. Um, so we did that. We put some chair rail on. So I will insert those clips of that now and then... Uh, we will, I will cut back to me and I'll show you what I'm up to now. Okay, so I'm gonna flip you around and show you what it's looking like in here. It is a mess because like I said, we're, we're constantly doing projects and things. What, buddy, what do you want? So it's kind of a mess in here right now, but I'm gonna flip you around and show you what's going on. Okay, so this is kind of what we're working with right now. Like I said, it is a giant mess in here. I moved this sideboard that was over here to underneath that window because I ended up buying a hutch off Facebook marketplace now it's in rough shape and needs some work I'm gonna paint it things like that but I think it'll look really nice in that corner there and then we'll have our table and this is the clips I just showed you like us doing this beadboard wall with a chair rail I'm getting ready to texture the wall here because we do live in a mobile home so there are those there was seam strips there or battens or whatever you want to call them that we took off and then we're going to use some what's it called drywall compound or drywall mud and we're going to hand texture the wall and kind of see what it looks like this is the first wall we're going to do i would love to do more walls in here just because it is like i want to get rid of the battens so we'll see how this wall turns out before I go. And because it's only a small wall, it's just this one wall that we're doing here. 
Um, we'll see how it turns out before we go do any more walls in our home to make sure I like it and things like that. So we're gonna hand texture this and we're gonna paint this. I think I'm gonna work on this first because my husband's not home and I need him, or my husband is home, sorry, he's napping. But um, I need him to open the drywall mud pail because it's brand new and I can't get it open. So I think I'm gonna work on this first. We'll see, you'll see what I end up doing. But anyways, yeah, so that's the plan for today. Okay, so I've put on my paint clothes because I get paint everywhere, so I need to put on paint clothes because if I didn't, I would ruin everything I own. <laughs> so I got my paint clothes on. I'm gonna start with the hutch first because that will be the easiest for me while my husband's napping and my kiddo's in the living room. So that's what we're gonna work on. We're gonna work on the hutch first and then we'll probably get to that wall at least once I get one coat of this on. <laughs> okay, and so for this product, I'm just going to use the Fusion Fusion Mineral Paint in Raw Silk. This is my plan. I'm going to use this on my hutch and my other sideboard over there. And I was thinking of doing this on the like pantry next to the fridge and stuff. But I'm thinking now that I might wait. I'm going to paint them when I get to that project, but I think I'm just gonna do it the same color I plan on painting the cabinets because I just didn't want two different colors. So I'm still deciding exactly what color I want for those. So that project is waiting a little bit so I can like make the right decision on what color I wanna paint the cabinets because that's not some tiny little job. Like it's gonna be a massive job to paint cabinets. So anyways, I'm gonna paint this, this off-white uh, Fusion mineral, mineral paint for color in raw silk. Now I will paint the sideboard too. Not sure if that will get done in this video. Maybe. It might be the next one. Who knows. I know a lot of Christmas content is coming if, if it's not already owed. So we'll see how these videos go up. But for now, I'm going to paint this in raw silk. Okay friends, it is the next day. I did finish painting the hutch, that is all done. And now I'm gonna work on texturing this wall because I gotta cover up these seams from where we took the battens off. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna put, we're gonna texture this wall, maybe get this beadboard painted, we'll see. I got my paint clothes on because like I said, when I paint, I get paint everywhere. Yesterday, it ended up in my hair, so, you know, that's just how it goes. I'm a messy painter, apparently. <laughs> but anyways, um, we're gonna start texturing this wall. I have a massive tub of uh, drywall compound or joint, comp like, it's called joint compound, the one I have. Anyways, it says low dust, which I'm not gonna be sanding it, so it's not really a huge deal, but anyways. We're gonna start texturing this wall because I feel like it's gonna take me a really long time. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do today.
Okay, you guys, so I have finished hand texturing. I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna start working on the beadboard and get as much painted as I can on this um, because Cooper ended up falling asleep on the couch. He looks so cute. Excuse the mess, but I'm gonna show you. He just looks the sweetest little guy. So he has fallen asleep, so I'm gonna try and get as much of this done as I can. Um, so I can kind of clear up some of this mess because a lot of this stuff is like my project stuff. So I'd like to get some of that cleaned up. So I'm gonna work on the beadboard and get as much of that painted as I can while this stuff dries. So let's get painting. Oh, the glare. Alrighty, friends, it is the next day. I have about 40 minutes to paint the top half of this wall where I've textured yesterday. Sorry, the glare in my glasses is really bad. But I need to quickly get at least one coat done. That's my goal for this morning before I gotta go pick up Cooper from school. And today is Halloween, how exciting. Um, so Cooper is dressed up as Tigger today and he bounces all day long, so I think it's just super fitting for him but um anyways i need to stop talking because i need to get painting this wall Okay friends, so it is the next day and I just finished filming my Christmas decor haul so that will be going up before this video. Um, but I'm so excited because this wall, I'm actually quite whited out, hold on. Let's turn this down. There we go. Um, it is dark in here because it is overcast but I finished this wall, well it's not completely decorated, <laughs> and I finished my hutch and I did decorate that so I'm gonna flip you around so I can end out this video so I can share it with you guys. I am so excited about this wall. The rest of the house was neglected, so it is a mess, but 
this area is all pretty. <laughs> but I'm gonna flip you around, show you how it all turned out. And there's definitely more dining room content coming because I wanna do the other side. And I do need to put on the new light fixture as well. I do have the light fixture, it's just not up yet. Um, but the wall is finished and my hutch is finished and I did decorate my hutch a little bit um, so I could have a background to film my decor haul. So I wanna share it with you guys and end with this video and like I said, the next video will probably be the other side of the dining room, the new dining room. Actually, it, that video won't, let me back up a little bit. There's going to be Christmas content coming out first before this video or, or not, or this video might come out as a bonus video. Sorry. I need, I need to get my train of thought. Hold on. So this video might come out as a bonus video, but the other half of the dining room will not be done until after the Christmas content because that's gonna take a lot of time to do. I got it. there's cupboards over there that I gotta paint and other things that I need to do. So that won't be coming out until after all of the Christmas content and maybe wait till after Christmas, we'll see. Um, I wanna get it done before Christmas though. So that's my plan, but anyways, this one's going to come out as a bonus video, I think. <sighs> With all that to be said, let me flip you around <laughs> and show you my pretty wall. Because this is the only area in my home right now that's pretty and like decorated and not messy. So let me share that with you. Okay, you guys. So only this corner, like if you go slightly this way, it is a mess. So it's only this area that is clean, you guys. But I love it. I do want to get mismatched vintage antique chairs for my table. I think that would look really nice here um, instead of these modern metal ones. That is my plan eventually, but that's gonna take time because I'm gonna be collecting them. I only need four, so it might not take too long, but <clears throat> I would like to get four different antique chairs, like wooden chairs, and I think that would look beautiful in here. Anyways, so that is how that area looks. And then my wall is done. I am obviously going to get some decor and decorate. I do have a expandable rack coming that I I had one in my old place, but the new owner wanted to buy it. So I left it there for her. Um, so I don't have it. So I had to order a new one. That's going to go here. I'm probably going to hang some plates on the wall, maybe um, some pictures. We'll figure that out because something needs to go up there. But then my hutch is painted, it's all done. And I did decorate it a little bit. This is how I threw it together. Those Christmas trees weren't on there for the video because I shared them in my video, but I just put them there so that they were up high so that my son doesn't get at them because I think they are glass. So those typically don't go there, but they're sitting there right now because I didn't want my toddler to get at them. But that's how I decorated it right now. Um, it's going to change because Christmas decorating is going gonna, is gonna to be coming soon. And then I put this little hook over here to hang some of my aprons on. So I love that. And then this little tree was just in my, pre like, in my haul video. I got two of these from Michael's. And I'm gonna, planning on putting them in Crocs. I think that would look really nice. So yeah, this is how that corner... Oops, I'm walking into something. Corner is looking. I love it. I'm so excited, but like I said, I do want to get different chairs because one, these are harsh black, which I do like black, don't get me wrong, but I would just love some chippy painted or even just wood antique chairs to put here that are sturdy. They have to be sturdy because I have a three-year-old toddler, so they have to be sturdy chairs. So it's going to take a while for me to collect them, but these are fine for now and they work and they suit our family. So eventually that will change but yeah that is how it's looking right now i absolutely love it i yeah i'm like pretty excited about it oh i want to show you the texture on the wall too because i don't know if you can see it from far away even yeah you can see it there there's some texture i put texture on the wall and i like it i think it looks really nice and it definitely covered up the area where the battens used to be which is really nice so yeah i just love how it turned out so cute Okay, so that was all to share with you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps me out and definitely consider subscribing. If you enjoy makeover videos, decorating videos, which I'm going to be doing a lot here, probably. Mm, 
yeah, I, 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 this might go up as a bonus video. So decorating will probably come after this video. We'll see. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Anyways, if you enjoy that type of content, please consider subscribing. I would absolutely love it if you did. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.